why it's hard for high achieving boss babe big bank women to find love let's talk about it <laughs> What's up guys? It's your favorite goddess coach, Jay Lynn, and on this video we're going to have a conversation. And this may trigger some out there, but this video is not meant for everyone. This video is meant for whoever it resonates with. I want to talk to my high achieving boss babe women, my career women, my entrepreneurial women, my influencers even. My women out there who are working hard to get to the bag, who are success driven and want to go and, and are constantly reaching new heights and doing what they have to do to get to the top, to even my women out there, maybe single mothers, who are doing everything that they can to provide for their family. Yes, I'm talking to you guys. First of all, I want to give y'all a round of applause. Okay, because baby, it's hard. It's hard out here in the world. It's hard out here to do things. And the fact that you're doing it and the fact that you're motivated and you're out there and you're doing what you have to do, that is commendable. But we got to have a talk. Ladies, 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 we have to have a talk. Yes, we can do it all by ourselves. Yes, we can make all the money. Yes, we can hit the goals and do everything to, you know, be these incredible, incredible, successful people. Yes, but baby, just like you are working so hard to get yourself prepared and ready for your career or prepared and ready to hit your next goal, I need you to put that same energy into your femininity. I really do. Here's the thing, boss babe women are really, really good at you know achieving success, making money. We are skilled when it comes to that. However, when it comes to wanting to be in a solid relationship with a high value man, or should I say a masculine man, somebody who is a healthy masculine man and provider, we can struggle in this. And especially if this is what you desire. If you want to be the kind of woman who not only is making the money and you're the main breadwinner in the family, you're paying all the bills or you're going 50-50 and you know you're cool with that, then obviously this video is not for you. I'm talking about my ladies out there who want to be with a true masculine provider who are looking to have that relationship where they are fully provided for, where they are with a solid man. And when I say high value man, I mean the kind of guy who means what he says and says what he means. I mean the kind of guy who is a provider. They are financially stable or they're creating financial stability in their life. Who's a man of integrity. They're loyal, they're committed. I'm not talking about just just a guy with money and you know he has all this money and he's giving you all this money but then he's cheating on you left and right that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the whole real deal I want ladies out there to know that they can truly have it all but in order to attract that kind of guy we need to address certain things that could be preventing you from attracting that relationship in your life and a lot of times this has to deal with women who are usually successful, who are, you know, getting to the bag and stuff, a lot of the times we can be so overly dependent on our masculine energy. And masculine energy is just that mode that we get in when we're in hustle mode. We're like getting to the bag, we're hustling, we're doing it, and we're making it happening and getting it done. You cannot apply masculine energy to romance. If you do, you will kill any romance that exists and you will repel any masculine man from you you in order to really have that juicy relationship where you guys are in this like dynamic where you are like he is drawn and pulled into your energy he is attracted to you he's constantly pursuing you he's giving you everything he is you know really being that masculine energy just even down to the biology like when you look at the male you know the male thing and thing it protrudes, it penetrates. We want to be penetrated as women. We want to be the receivers as women. That's our natural birthright. That's our natural way of being. But when we find ourselves chasing a man and chasing opportunities all the time and chasing things and making it happen and we apply this to men, the kind of man that you truly want is gonna run away from you. 
but we want to get back into our divine femininity so that we can be the attractive force we can be that magnet again we can be that being that's oozing with that divine feminine energy that is completely irresistible to those divine masculine men so let's talk about some issues that are stopping us from getting there and certain things that you might want to do and work on you know so that we can change this go the number one thing one something that really will repel strong high value men from you know a woman is like i said a woman operating primarily from her masculine energy so let's take the career woman for example you are the boss so you're bossing people around you're telling people what to do you're always kind of managing things and you're making sure that everything is acting and you know operating accordingly so you take that same energy when it comes to a man on a date as soon as you get on a date you're asking oh are we gonna do this do you want this do you want that you're making things happen on a date right you find yourself commanding and managing the date managing the man asking oh are we still gonna meet up at this time are we gonna meet up at this place okay you're taking that energy of control and you're bringing that to a date mm -mm. no when you are on a date you need to enter queen mode queen mode is not going around trying to make it happen and trying to figure out all the details and asking him when we're gonna link up and all this stuff no i need you to be on queen mode a queen sits back relax and everything is served to her and i'm not saying this to disempower you but i'm saying this but i'm saying all this to say i need you to let that man lead I need you to let that man lead. Let that man take control when it comes to the date. Don't be trying to boss this man around on date mode because that is coming from a place of not trusting in the masculine energy. Because if you trust in your ability to select appropriately you know and you can trust to surrender to the right man and you know that you are going to choose a man that knows what to do he's not going to be clueless you're going to choose a guy that knows what to do and he's going to get it done so that you don't have to do anything this is empowering you right so instead of you having to do all the work and you're bringing that energy back into your dating life you sit back, relax, and everything is being done for you. And that's the second thing. You are chasing after a relationship with a man and just chasing after relationships in general. If you find yourself chasing after relationships in general, you find yourself um, asking the man, when are we going to be official? When are we going to move in together? When are we going to do this? When are we going to go do that? When are we going to go on a date? You are leading. I need you to get out of leading mode and get back into receiving mode. Babe, if you want to really know this man's intentions for you, you want to listen and follow and pay attention to what that man does and what that man do. Actions will always speak louder than words. But if you are kind of pushing the envelope all the time and leading the direction of the relationship, you will never see if this man truly does care about you. So this man, you never give him the opportunity to take action. You are doing the work for him. So you want to look at it almost like you are, you know, being carried. Instead of you having to carry the whole direction of the relationship and worry about all the nitty gritty details and X, Y, and Z, you are being carried instead of having to do all the carrying you are being carried to the destination but at any moment if you decide that you don't want to go where he wants to go you don't have to go you don't gotta be with that man <laughs> but for the most part if you know how to select which is that and that's what a woman does and that's what that's been our role in this society forever the man pursues and the and the woman approves all right even back down to animals and stuff like that the female birds don't go to male birds and be like hey uh do you want to date me no the female birds sit around and they look pretty they look gorgeous they put themselves out there and the male birds come up with their nest and say hey is this good enough for you is this what you want is this what you got because i can give this to you and then the and then the female bird says oh yeah i like this i'll keep you and or the female bird says no actually this is not up to standard and then guess what the male bird does if it's not up to standard it goes back creates a new nest and comes back with a better nest and then the female approves 
that's been our role in evolutionary history and society forever women approve man pursue if you get back into that energy and dynamic it's gonna be so much better for you and for your mental and for your mental peace and sanity right so you got to stop leading the relationship because the more that you lead the relationship the more that that man is going to be pushed to go into his femininity so he's not going to do anything for you he's gonna be the type of man and you're gonna end up attracting the type of man where you got to pay all the bills where you always got to hold the relationship on your shoulders if you are not asking the dates or even setting up dates yourself there would be no dates and you don't want to be with a man like that you want to be with a man who's going to set up dates on on his own because he wants to see you and he wants to spend time with you you are going to be with a man who's going to say hey i really want to see you this weekend how about here at five o'clock period does that work for you if it don't here's another time like you want to be with a man that steps up and gets into his masculine energy when it comes to pursuing you not the other way around where you gotta go chasing after a man what are we doing we don't want to do that a lot of you know high earning women and like high achieving women we make a lot of money and stuff like that but when we come back at the end of the day home alone in our apartment in our house we're like all this money for what all this money for without love means absolutely nothing. So three, just as much as you value making money and being successful and climbing that ladder, I need you to also value love. I need you to admit that there's a part of you that wants to be supported. I need you to admit that deep down there's a part of you that also does not want to be alone. I need you to admit that a part of you wants to feel understood, heard, and be supported by a man. A lot of the times we wanna have this energy of I don't need a man, I can do it all by myself. And yes, that might be true, but do you want to do everything all on your own? Do you want to always have to be the person that is doing all the work and making all the money and doing everything? Or do you want to be supported? Does a part of you want to be held and contained in a beautiful way? And this does not mean losing your independence or losing your power, that's a lie. It's a lie. When you are with the right man, you're able to step deeper into your feminine energy. Okay, when you're with the right man, you're able to be elevated into a level where he is going to boss you up even more because you no longer have to stress all on your own or at all when you're with a provider. Another thing that I see when it comes to high achieving women is you try so hard to prove that you're worthy instead of knowing that you're worthy. What do I mean by this? When it comes to men and relationships, you find yourself constantly proving to a man that you are the right one for him. You are proving and you're, you know, trying to tell him that you're so special. You are doing the most to show him that he should care about you and that he should pick you. You're changing who you are. You're wearing all the different dresses and, you know, you're trying, right? You're trying to show him that you could cook, that you can do all this stuff just so he could see you, just just so he can notice you and that energy is not what we want because the moment that we find ourselves trying we step out of being trying is a masculine attribute and being is the feminine so quit trying and start being start diving deeper into understanding that you are worthy naturally as you are you don't have to prove your worthiness you are naturally worthy of that kind of dude and no I'm not saying that there's an obviously not things that you can change and upgrade with yourself when it comes to your femininity but you need to change that energy within you that is always on you know instead of you being the interviewer you're an interviewee energy remember that you are a blessing that you are a gift and when you are on a date if you know that you are a gift and you know that you are a blessing you will have a different energy instead of you trying to show a person that you are a gift and that you are a blessing it's a different energy i don't know how to explain it another reason why it can be hard for high achieving women to find love is they're tapped out completely from their sensuality or sexuality a lot of the times these women can be just disconnected from the power of 
their bodies. You can see it in the way that they walk. We're so good at being bosses and making money that sometimes you can forget to stretch. Sometimes you can forget to do yoga and to nourish yourself. Sometimes you can forget to just, you know, just touch yourself and to really be connected with yourself intimately. We forget intimacy when it comes to ourselves. So then when it comes to trying to connect with another person, we don't even know how to connect deeply and intimately with us. So then it's awkward to even learn how to connect with another person. But you must also build a really nice relationship with yourself on an intimate level as well. Learning how to touch your body, being able to sensitize yourself again, really stretching your body and, you know, doing yoga and stretching so that you can be in tune with your sensuality. Really like going out and even on a practical level, eating foods that have a lot of flavor. And instead of just chopping down the food really quickly, taking in every single bite and really tasting the flavors letting it sink into your body and into your mouth understand that the feminine principle is the foreplay it is the foreplay and that and the masculine energy is about that action so you need to understand how to turn everything into foreplay right turn your life into foreplay and make it delicious and that's how you can naturally find love and have love chasing after you instead of you chasing after it and the last thing that i see when it comes to high achieving women and women who love to make money is sometimes we have a lot of active income but we haven't made enough passive income um active income is doing things that require doing a lot of action so you're constantly talking you're you have a huge team and you're working with a lot of different people there's a lot of moving parts to your business i want you to also learn how to delegate delegate your life out delegate so you can relax delegate the things that you hate so that you can do more things that you love and make sure that your business and the things that you're doing to make money are things that are in alignment with you and do they actually fill you up don't fill yourself up with a bunch of stuff that you don't actually like and start making more passive income. Start investing more into real estate. Start investing more into things that are going to make you more money without you having to do as much work. This is so that you can get out of survival mode and into thrive mode. This is where you start really becoming a true wealthy person when instead of you having to work to make money, the money is working on its own, okay, to multiply itself. And that's the key and the missing link. Remembering passive income so you can relax and make money while you sleep. That's the key. Delegate, create a team, do what you have to do to make your life easier. Accept ease and flow and tranquility and all that beautiful divine feminine energy and principle into your life. But yeah, that's what I've noticed when it comes to high achieving women. I'm a high achieving woman myself and those are things I used to struggle with when it came to relationships and dating and those things were blocking me out from having a beautiful love life. Love is juicy, love is amazing and love is also important. Don't downgrade it, don't pretend like it doesn't exist. Honor it and accept it as a part of what you want and desire and that's how it can come towards you and know that you are worthy. If you need help with this, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have coaching to help you step deeper into your divine feminine energy and also a bunch of different programs to help you as well that are self-study that you can do on your own like Goddess of Work, Psychic Secrets of Seduction, and Awaken Your Inner Goddess, which you can get all those in a bundle for discount. So definitely check out those offers. Learn how to advance your feminine energy, to meditate more, to relax more, so that you can attract with ease on that energetic level. And it's not about doing a bunch, it's about just being. I teach you how to be, I teach you how to embody, and how to date correctly so that you can be provided for, okay? You do not have to do all the work, babe. Let's get into it. So yeah, if that sounds juicy for you and you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one for a VIP day and luxury retreat, definitely email my team at goddesscourseinfo at gmail.com. All right, babe. I'll see you later. Let's get into it.